Good day, brothers and sisters. Another day to spend with the Lord. Come, let us listen and reflect on His Word. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, You are the salt of the earth. But if salt loses its taste, with what can it be seasoned? It is no longer good for anything but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city set on mountain cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and then put it under bushel basket. It is set on a lampstand, where it gives light to all in the house. Just so, your light must shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord A life that makes sense. The eight Beatitudes in the Sermon of the Mount is followed by the similes of salt and light. When Jesus says to the disciples that they are the salt of the earth, he points to their function of igniting people's lives. In the cultural world of Jesus, blocks of salt served as catalysts to ignite fire. Salt was placed at the base of the earthen oven, and the dung patties were placed on top of the salt to allow the dung fuel to get hotter and burn more completely. This is what Pope Francis refers to when he appeals to believers to stop being mothballed or frozen Christians. They must make a difference in the world. Their presence should serve as catalyst to ignite fire and fervor for God and humanity. And as it burns, it gives hope. On the other hand, the disciples will show themselves as a light of the world, as they conform themselves to Jesus, who is the light of the world. They do this concretely by their good deeds, here we are reminded of the works that makes Jerusalem light break forth like the dawn, her light rising in the darkness, breaking the yoke of oppression, removing falsehood and malicious speech, sharing one's bread with the hungry, not turning one's back on one's fellow human beings. In turn, Jesus' disciples become light to others by listening to and putting into practice Jesus' teaching, especially in the Sermon of the Mount. In an Angelus message, Pope Francis refers to the image of a Christian whose faith is like a burning lamp that brings light to the darkness. We must carry the light of Christ with the witness of a genuine love. The Christian must be a luminous person who carries the light, a light that comes from one that is not his own, but a gift of God, a gift of Jesus. He then cautions, if a Christian loses this light, his life doesn't make sense. He is a Christian in name only. <music> 